Hello, my name is Mary Graves, and this is Terror Tuesday's Reactions. Am I wearing a dress or am I wearing the couch? I'm realizing as I sit down here that my dress definitely blends in with the big red couch. Or I'm sorry, the little red couch. It's a love seat. Anyway, enough of that babble. We have another first for me tonight. It is a Cronenberg movie and I, you know, I have to look over Cronenberg's filmography. I know he's got a crap ton of films, but in terms of his classics from the 70s and the 80s, after watching tonight's film, I might have made my way through all of those Cronenberg movies. I'm probably wrong, but I don't think I am. The movie I'm talking about is the 1979 Cronenberg classic, The Brood, starring Samantha Egger as a loving mother, from what I can glean from the few things I know about this movie, Art Hindle, and Oliver Reed as a crazy psychiatrist type of dog. I don't really know what he does, but I know he's got some sort of PhD and he's um, not good from what I can tell. So, let's get watching this movie, I'm excited. I know it's another Cronenberg, so it's gonna be gross, and there's gonna be practical effects, and it's gonna be a little bit on the bloody and the gory side, if not super on the bloody and the gory side. I'm very excited to cross this one off my list today. Remember, if you are watching 1979's The Brood anytime between now and next Terror Tuesdays, do a post, put something on your story, tag me, use the hashtag Terror Tuesdays, and you will get a share on my story. That's uh, that's a game I like to play. So you know, if you you tweet something, I will retweet it. If you uh, tag me on something on Facebook, I'll try to share it. That's uh, that's about all the information I got for you on that. And if you are looking to do a full watch of this movie with me, mind you, I will not be posting this entire movie, just my entire reaction. Go to my Patreon page. The link is in my bio on Instagram. It'll be in the descriptions on YouTube and uh, everywhere else I can post a link, I'm gonna post a link to it. And you can do a full watch with me. The movie's available on HBO Max, which is where I'm watching it today. And I think it's on Shutter in other countries, just not in the US. So if you have a VPN, you know you're golden. All right, let's get watching. I have me some snacks. Cronenberg is known for his soundtracks in his movies. Well, I think the music sounds very cheery, huh? I don't know. I could look you in the eye for if I wanted to, Daddy, I, I just... Was that really his daddy? Just a weak you see, weakness is more acceptable than a girl, Michelle. Oh. Arm him in it. He's gonna die by the end of this, right? Why did I call you Michelle? Man's a genius. How is he a genius? How, how does an outsider look at that and go, <laughs> it's a genius. It's a genius. God damn it, Psychoplasmics is a ripoff. At least he's smart enough to know. Three seconds after you're born. Graves Extractions, quote of the week. Yeah, she's just chugging down the liquor, that's all. She'll be fine. You're seriously not gonna go check after that noise. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was giving the girl liquor. <laughs> oh, shit. The thing's like the size of Chucky. Bat it away! She's... Ooh. She just completely killed the grandma. That indicates a kind of abnormal deep sleep, which a lot of people, even children, will use to escape something that's too painful to face. And she still says that she doesn't... Am I doing that? Oh, I should have mentioned the wife! And the bruises on the daughter's back! <clears throat> now would have been the time to start the case! She's psychotic, but I can't tell if she was psychotic before meeting this guy or after meeting this guy. Don't you love me? Does she know she's not actually talking to her dad? Oh god, or is that guy her dad? No, no. It's not really her her dad. I feel like I need a stretch. <laughs> oh god, something cracked. Alright, I'm done. Oh! I'm coming back up here together. 
You're already there. Just walk through the fucking door. Have the cojones. What is he drunk? He's driving. Oh, there's the drinking. Is he feeling up the outline? <gasps> no! Oh no! Beaten to death by paperweights. Oh shit! Could have taken his head off! Should have answered that. You can unplug the phone. You don't need to put a pillow over the phone. You can just unplug the phone. You just mother's the phone. Kyle XY. Hey, my daddy. Oh god. Oh shit. Wait, how is that even a weapon? How can that be heavy enough to be a weapon? Those poor kids. Oh god, it's too late. It's too late. Oh shit. <laughs> or you could take the kids out of the room. So then you don't have to cover her face with the ridiculous drawing that says pumpkin seeds on it. Please seek dwarf killers. It's just a weird headline. I mean, for one, you can't tell if it's dwarves killing people or if somebody killing dwarfs. Don't, don't, don't let. Oh my god. God. No. It's showtime! Oh. I think you gotta ease somebody in to showing them something like that. You don't just go whoo hoo. That's so graphic. I mean, I guess if it's good enough for cats to do, who are we to judge? You could have washed it a different way. Oh. You know, you did this. You deserve to get killed off. Run! You know, I feel sorry for him. I know you so well. But I'm not gonna. Oh shit. Oh shit. Run! You make sure she's dead. Where the hell is your car? Oh man. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, okay. <laughs> oh. The score, man, the score really gets to me in Cronenberg movies, like with, um, with Scanners. It's just very operatic, it's very dramatic, and it just, it kind of makes your skin crawl and gives you goosebumps all at the same time. It's just, it's really effective. Let me collect my thoughts for a minute. Okay, here are the takeaways from Mary Graves' Horror School Survival Tip. One, learn to deal with your anger in a healthy way, okay? Because if you don't, the, the rage will take over and destroy everything you love, whether it's through the way you act in a relationship or through the rage monsters, basically, that you will birth. Literally. Two, never have kids. If you had bad parents, don't decide that you're gonna fix things that they couldn't fix by having kids, because guess what? You're not. You're just gonna become your parents. You're gonna pass that down to your spawn, and then they're gonna have spawn, and they're gonna pass it up. It's just a, a, a never-ending cycle of, of pain. So just, just don't. Hell, if you're well-adjusted, don't have kids either. Kids are just awful. And three, while we're at it, maybe just, you know, 
consider not getting married ever either. It just seems like a marriage partner, you never really know who you're marrying, and it's just, it's gonna end badly. I mean, just look at this, this relationship. Her, uh, Nola's mother and father got a divorce, and now she's going through a divorce, and if Candy ever gets married, she's probably gonna go through a divorce. So it's just, you know, just, we'll go through it. Life's short, you know, have fun. <laughs> that brings us to the end of another fantastic Terra Tuesdays night. This movie, you know, I watched Scanners and I watched the Videodrome for Terra Tuesdays, but those, well, Scanners is a movie I'd seen beforehand and Videodrome I had watched as a first watch. And I liked Videodrome, but it wasn't like I, I, my favorite. I love, love, love Scanners. And I've watched The Fly since I was a kid, but I've never done it for Terra Tuesdays. And I don't see myself doing that for Terror Tuesdays in the future because I have watched it and I want to stick with movies I haven't seen before. But I will watch that movie a lot at some point again. And I'm pretty sure that The Brood is one of Cronenberg's earlier movies. So I, I think it came up before The Fly and Videodrome and Scanners, which I'm certain were all 80s movies, and this is 1979. But I actually like this one better than Videodrome. Do I like it better than The Fly or Scanners? No, but it comes really close, which I think says a lot about Cronenberg and his style and, and how much I enjoy it when I watch it. It's very creepy and it leaves like, like a, a bad taste in my mouth, but like in a good way. That's prob probably a really weird way to describe it, but that's that's all I got for you right now. I hope you enjoyed this movie. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to our next Terror Tuesdays night. All right, remember, if you are watching this movie, The Brood from 1979, directed by David Cronenberg, anytime between now and next Terror Tuesdays night, do a post, put something on your story, tweet something, put something on Facebook, tag me, use the hashtag Terror Tuesdays, and you will get a share on my story or whatever social medium you're using to uh, to spread the Terror Tuesdays word. That's about it. Uh, look forward to the next May Queen's podcast. We will be coming out with new episodes every Friday, although sometimes we're a little bit later in the day, but I try to shoot for Friday mornings whenever I can. If you want to do the full watch with me, please subscribe to my Patreon channel. Right now there's just the $5 tier and that gets you a full video of my reaction to this movie. This is not a place to go see the full movie, of course. Go find the movie in whatever places you can or, you know, just pop in your DVD. We live in a world where people are quarantining and we don't get to see each other as much as we used to. So if you're looking for somebody to watch a movie with, I'm your girl. So. Go find my Patreon channel. I have all the links and all the places you can find links, so go ahead and find it. And that's it for now. I'll let you know when there's more. So have a good night, everybody, and I will see you next Tuesday.